For this example, we want to determine if the integral from minus 3 to 2 of 1 over x to 2 thirds dx converges, and if so, evaluate it. The first thing to notice for a problem like this is that this is, in fact, an improper integral. The issue here is that the function f of x is 1 over x to 2 thirds is not defined at x equals 0 because the function tends to infinity there. So what do we do about this? Well, to figure this out, we then have to deal with the fact that it's an improper integral. And that means making zero the endpoints of our integration. So we can then cut off before that and limit our fake endpoint to zero, which is going to cause the problems. So to solve this, we first need to rewrite our given integral as one that has zero as limits of integration. We're going to rewrite minus 3 to 2, 1 over x to 2 thirds, dx as integral from minus 3 up to 0 of 1 over x to 2 thirds dx plus integral 0 to 2 of the same function. Now we have to handle each of these separately and independently as improper integrals to which we have the answer. So the first of these, we evaluate this integral as the limit as r goes to 0 from the left staying away from 0 on the side that our interval is, minus 3 up to r of 1 over x to 2 thirds dx, we now compute this integral. If I add 1 to the power, I get positive 1 third, so I'm going to get 3 times x to the 1 third from minus 3 up to r, which is limit as r goes to 0, of 3 times r to the 1 third minus 3 times negative 3 to the 1 third. So as r goes to 0, this term here also goes to 0 because the r here is in the numerator is a positive power, so 0 to any positive power is 0. This term is going to vanish in the limit, meaning we are left with just a 3 cube root of 3. Because the minus sign here can move outside, because cube root of numbers are still negative. So that comes out here, cancel out, we get 3 root of 3. We can have the same for the other integral. Integral 0 up to 2, 1 over x to the 2 thirds. And the process here is the same, we just now have to limit our lower endpoint down to 0 instead of the upper one going up to 0. So limit as r approaches 0 from the right this time of r up to 2. The antiderivative here is the same. Let me plug in our endpoints. As before, when I send r to 0, this term will go to 0, meaning I'm left with just 3 times the cube root of 2. So what we've seen so far is that both of these sub-integrals, minus 3 up to 0 and 0 up to 2, both converge. We've computed their values here and here. So because both of these smaller parts converge, we know the whole integral also converges. So because both components converge, we know that the full integral also converges, and its value is the sum of those two component parts. That is, integral minus 3 to 2 of 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx is equal to 3 cube root of 3 plus 3 cube root of 2. Now note that you would have still gotten this answer if you ignored the entire concept of this being an improper integral and just done it directly. You'd have gotten the same answer. The issue here is you also get an answer like this if the integral diverges. And if you ignore the fact that it's improper, you will never figure out that it diverges. So it's important to go through this entire process of identifying this as an improper integral, splitting up into its pieces, and working out each part separately to make sure you get the right answer and that it will actually make sense to compute in this way.